Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Happy, happy new year to you all. I am looking forward to 2021. 2020 was, was something. We'll just leave it at that. And I'm looking forward to this year and I hope you all are well. I hope you had a good new year. We just stayed at home, my family and I, and yeah, it was great. It was really lovely to spend time with my family, which I've been doing a lot of, and I'm just so grateful for them. I am so grateful for you, and yeah, looking forward to new beginnings. Alrighty, so I am here today for just a quick video. I wanted to give you a couple updates. If you haven't noticed already, there have been a few updates on my channel. I just did a little bit of housekeeping. <laughs> I put in a new banner, a new avatar. It's just a great way to start the new year, I feel like. Just a new start, a fresh start. Um, some other changes as well. I also changed my channel name to Emmy Made instead of Emmy Made in Japan. It has been a long time coming. I left Japan soon after my first child was born. That was eight years ago. Eight years ago. I am so grateful for the experience because I built my channel there. I started my channel there as just a project because I was lonely and wanted to explore more Japanese foods on camera. I had just recently moved to Japan and was discovering all kinds of new things about it and thought, why not start filming this on camera and learn how to edit along the way. <laughs> that was back in my apartment when I was recording vlog type videos, tasting food, candies on my laptop. Didn't really know all that much and it was it was fun. It was a fun project. The name Emmy Made in Japan was intended for the channel because I was going to be making craft projects and they were going to be made while I was living in Japan and little did I know that it would turn into what it has turned into. I actually would have never dreamed this. It's just a wonderful thing. So that in a nutshell is where Emmy Made in Japan came from in that time. Since we've come home to the US, I've had another child and it's just really time for me to let go of the Made in Japan. And there also understandably was a lot of confusion about the Made in Japan, as if I was made in Japan. And in actuality, I was made in America. I am Chinese by heritage. So I didn't want that confusion to continue. At any rate, I just wanted to share with you that I am now just Emmy Made. There's going to be no change in the content whatsoever, so don't get worried about that. My other channel is now called Emmy Made Extras. That's where you'll find my beekeeping content and any craft projects or other content that I do outside of food tasting. So if you haven't checked that out, definitely check that out as well. So I just went through my video library and I discovered that I've been publishing videos three times a week since August 2013. That is a really long time. That's like seven years, six and a half years to be technical, but six and a half years of publishing videos three times a week. And now I'm going to be publishing videos two times a week. So that will give me a little bit more time to focus on projects, maybe extend projects, and maybe do some bells and whistles in my editing that I haven't been able to do because I've been on a three video a week publishing schedule for such a long time. So that's it for updates. I'm really looking forward to 2021, just allowing myself to be open and embracing change and looking forward to new possibilities. So I hope your new year is going well for you. Now today I thought I would try this little throwback. It's a throwback because it is a Japanese kind of candy-like toy. I picked this up over a year ago now. The last time I was in Japan, it was in November 2019. These are edible bubbles, but on top of being edible bubbles, you can make them yourself by adding any kind of juice or kind of sweetened drink you like. So what I'm going to opt for is Coke. So I'm going to be making homemade Coke. It's not exactly a DIY because I'm not making it from scratch, but I'm super excited to make this little concoction, see if it blows bubbles and then taste the bubbles. I'm super curious to see if any of the Coke flavor is going to be in these bubbles. I mean, it'll be in there, but will it taste like Coke? So this is really nostalgic for me because my channel really started when I was exploring Japanese candies and candy making kits. So super fun and appropriate. Shabon Dama, which are bubbles. I bought this at Don Quixote, which is a really great novelty store in Japan. They also have locations in Hawaii. If you're ever in Hawaii, visit Don Quixote. It's just 
It's an incredible place. It's like a novelty department store on steroids. At any rate, that's where I found this. And in hindsight, I probably should have gotten like five of these so I could test out different ones, but I only got one. So we gotta roll with it. And in it, we have a liquid. Oh, cool, look at that. It's a bubble container. And inside, we've got a bubble wand. So we're gonna take this mixture here doesn't have any smell add that to here it's clear so the directions say specifically not to use any acidic or drinks that don't contain any sugar because then it won't make bubbles and this is also not to add too much of your juice because it'll make the bubble mixture too thin and then you won't be able to blow bubbles. So inside there, you won't be able to see it, I don't think, is a fill line where you add your juice. And it says specifically not to add more than 15 milliliters, which I believe is one tablespoon. But let me make sure. One tablespoon is 15 milliliters. Let's crack my Coke. Coke. I love Coke. So this isn't very much Coke, but this isn't very much bubble solution either. So let's go ahead and add, I'm gonna add a little less because I don't want it to be too thin. So there's a kokomade line. That means just to here. It's really hard to see. Okay. I'm just gonna stir that with a chopstick, because I don't want this to get too sudsy. Because if you've ever made bubble solution before, you don't want it to be too sudsy, because then you can't make a nice film, which then interferes with the whole bubble blowing action. Okay, so we've got our wand, which is a double wand, and immediately we have foam. <laughs> so I'm gonna tap off the excess foam. We have a film, here we go. Huh. Highly anticlimactic. Oh man, come on. Oh no. These kids always work. <laughs> I had to bruise your ego in order for you to work, right, Bubbles? All right, here we go. Yes. Okay, okay give me a stream of bubbles. Okay, here we go. Yes. All right, here we go. Itadakimasu. Oh, tastes like soap. <laughs> Let's try again. <laughs> Here's how to buy non-toxic soap. Now, now its ego is really bruised. Now it's mad at me and it doesn't want to perform. <laughs> Alrighty, let's try again. Okay, okay, it's not too mad at me. Here we go. Ugh. Oh. Tastes like soap. It tastes like dish soap. <laughs> Doesn't taste like Coke at all. Ooh. Yay! I got a whole stream of bubbles. <laughs> and I'm getting solution everywhere. Yeah. That's, that's too bad. I had high hopes for that. Maybe I needed to try a drink that had more flavor to it. I don't know, maybe a melon soda or maybe just juice, but Coke, one tablespoon of Coke was definitely not enough to change the flavor or give the soap mixture any flavor because I'm pretty convinced that's what's in here. These are edible, probably because you're just having small amounts of dish soap. Are they delicious? No. Do they make bubbles? Yes. That's super fun. So in the future, when I do some kind of experiment like this, I think I'll buy multiple. That way I can do multiple tests, and that way I can come to the conclusion whether it's the product's fault or the operator. All right, my beautiful lovelies, thanks for tuning in. I will see you on Thursday. And also, thank you. Thank you so much for watching my videos, for bringing me into your homes, into your world, and allowing me to do this wonderful thing that I do for a living. I'm just so, so very grateful to every single one of you. And yeah, thanks for sticking with me through the years. 
I've been doing this for 10 years now and that sort of blows my mind, but <laughs> it still continues to be fun for me and I've learned so much about so many things, so many places, so many people and made lots of great friendships along the way and it's all thanks to you. So thanks so much for that and yeah, thanks again for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. I do lots of this kind of content and yeah, share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. I love hearing from you and like this video and I'll see you on Thursday. Alrighty, toodaloo, take care, bye. Now I want some fries.